Netflix stole the show. Yeah, get this. Data examined by Ada on your side reveals about 25% of the 200 people across the country arrested since last year are from Florida. That's one in four. Eight on your side, senior investigator Walt Buteau joins us now, and that's nothing we want to brag about. No, and they're accused of taking about 20% of all the money across the country. The local suspects include a retired football player from St. Pete and a Dade City man who used your money to buy himself a pair of high-end vehicles. The owner of this Pasco County hemp farm is among the many legitimate businesses waiting for government green to get out of the red. I have literally begged and pleaded with the SBA for them to please have someone help me. Court documents indicate a farm that doesn't exist in Miami received $1.1 million in disaster loan and payment protection plan money. The couple that stole the money pleaded guilty in March, and they're among dozens of fraud suspects across the state. 48 of the 209, nearly 25% of those charged around the country with payment protection plan fraud, are from Florida. Investigators say those cases involve more than $52 million of the $246 million total from all the investigations. I'm not saying that the SBA doesn't have any checks and balances. The SBA's South Florida director talked with us briefly in February about local fraud cases, but has not responded to our request for comment about why Florida has more fraud cases than any other state. The Bay Area suspects include former NFL wide receiver Josh Bellamy of St. Petersburg. He's accused of illegally obtaining $1.1 million in PPP money, and according to his indictment, he spent more than 60000 of that at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. This brand new Ford F-250 was purchased for $66,000 by Dade City's Keith Nicoletta, who pleaded guilty in January to laundering stolen COVID relief funds. He also bought his wife a 2020 Mercedes for six dollars from the nearly $2 million in PPP money he received, according to the indictment. And another Florida case involves former Seminole County tax collector Joel Greenberg. We've heard of him. He pleaded guilty today to federal sex trafficking charges and three other counts tied to a $400,000 fraudulent SBA disaster loan. This is really outlandish. When you yes. hear these stories and how that money is being wasted and spent, uh, uh, ridiculous. But has the SBA added any safeguards since they rolled this out? They say they have, but again, these cases are still popping up and the investigations continue. So, All right. Pretty egregious, as you say mm. there. Thank you, Walt. And if you have something you would like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.